friends, I am Madhura. Welcome to madhurasrecipe.com. Today I am making instant microwave dhokla, and this is really super simple, quick, and easy to make snack. So to start with the process, over here in a bowl, I have taken a cup and half of uh, besan or chickpea flour, and uh, this is a, a coarse variety of besan and not very fine variety. Uh, you can easily find that out at any uh, local Indian grocery store. This is uh, typically used for making uh, besan lattus. Now in that then goes in 3 quarter cups of uh, yogurt or curd. This is plain yogurt. And now uh, give this a really good mix. And you need to make sure that you are using thick yogurt and not very thin one. And after that's done, we'll add in a tablespoon of uh, suji in there. This will help to give a nice texture to this dhokla. And add in a third cup of water. Give that a stir. And this is well mixed up. And so here I have used uh, about three quarter cups of water. Now the consistency of water will really depend on the thickness of your yogurt. Basically uh, we are looking for uh, this consistency not too thick and too thin and too thin we need it to be of pouring consistency. Now we'll uh, season this up and for that here I have taken a teaspoon of ginger garlic and green chili paste. So in which I have taken about three green chilies. Uh, two to three cloves of garlic and about a an half pinch of uh, ginger. Just put that into blender and blitz that up. Then add in turmeric powder to give that nice yellow color. Oil, one tablespoon oil, salt to taste and one tablespoon of sugar. Since we have used yogurt in that, this sugar will help to balance out the flavor and mix. So over here this batter looks ready. Now just a final step. The star ingredient of this recipe that is eno fruit salt. Now uh, this really helps to make uh, dhokla nice and spongy and you can easily find this out at any local Indian grocery store. Just make sure that uh, you use this without any flavor. You need it to be uh, plain. So we'll go ahead and add in this Inno fruit salt. So this is one and a half teaspoon of Inno fruit salt. So we need about half teaspoon per half cup of besan or chickpea flour. And we'll add just little bit of water to activate the soda and give that a stir. You can see that this will turn nice and frothy as soon as you add water over this eno fruit salt and this mixture has all bubbled up perfect give it a really good mix and now next over here I have this microwave safe dish which I have uh, greased up really good using vegetable oil. Now we'll go ahead and pour in this batter in this dish. Give this a gentle tap. Now I will pop this uh, straight straight into microwave and I'm going to microwave this over high power for 5 minutes. Now my microwave is about 900 watts so I need uh, near about 5 minutes. Now the cooking time varies depending on the capacity of your uh, microwave or the uh, wattage of your microwave. So you need to uh, adjust the cooking time accordingly. Now just we'll go ahead and pop this straight into microwave. And over there uh, this dhokla is cooked for exactly 5 minutes and you can see that. It's got nice these holes all over this dhokla. Wow. And if you insert a knife in the middle of this dhokla, it comes out clean. That means it's cooked all the way through. 
and also you can see that it has uh, the sides of this thokla has been loosened perfect now uh, give it a standing time of uh, 15 to 20 minutes we want it to cool down completely and while our uh, dhokla is cooling down we will make some sugar or uh, water to keep this uh, dhokla nice and moist now the thing about this dhokla is it stays nice and soft uh, and moist when it's fresh but as it cools down or as the time goes it uh, tend to become uh, uh, dry so if uh, you have ever noticed uh, at any halwa shop or mithai mart they keep on adding splash of water over uh, dhokla uh, this uh, water really helps to keep this dhokla moist and soft for longer time uh, so to make this uh, uh, syrup or water here i have taken about half cup of water and to that i will add a teaspoon of sugar and quarter teaspoon of salt and give that a stir and allow this sugar to dissolve completely and here sh this sugar is completely dissolved and this sugar and salt water is all ready now we'll keep this aside and we'll start to make our tempering so for tempering here i have heated two teaspoon of oil and this oil is nice and hot this is smoky hot so we'll turn off the heat otherwise the mustard seeds will pop up all over this stove so we'll go ahead and add in mustard seeds just a pinch of thyme or asafoetida and 3 to 4 sweet green chilies and as soon as you add chilies in that you make sure that you close this up and here this dhokla has cooled down completely now it's a time to cut that into pieces so first we'll loosen the sides of this dhokla and just cut that up move this around basically we are making this into small square pieces after that's been cut now next we'll uh, take this uh, syrup and we'll pour this over this dhokla this will absorb all this half cup of water perfect now our final step is to add in tempering over this dhokla and garnish with lots of chopped fresh coriander leaves lovely lovely now we'll pick up one piece from this dog look how easily it comes out it comes out really good you can see that it's got a nice fluffy it has it is nice and soft as well wow. let me have a bite mm. nothing tastes as good as this fresh homemade dhokla awesome i hope you liked my today's recipe for such more quick, easy, instant recipes, please go to my website that is www.madhurasrecipe.com developing a new test. Also, please, please, please remember to subscribe us on our YouTube channel or on our website. It's free and you will be get notified every time we post a new recipe. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.